Hello everyone, welcome to DevWave Diaries. If you're passionate about tech and eager to learn, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this 3D image effect that respond to mouse hover, adding a dynamic touch to your web project. First, we'll create a div element with the class container. Inside this div, we will add another div with the class item. Within this item div, we'll insert an IMG tag to display an image. Next, we'll duplicate this entire block six more times. You can do this quickly by using the shortcut Shift plus Alt plus down arrow. This will copy and paste the code multiple times. Now, for each IMG tag, update the SRC attribute to any image of your choice. Once this is done, we can move on to the next step. As you can see, I've now added the image links to each IMG tag. The SRC attribute of each tag points to the appropriate image source. Now that all the images are in place, let's move on the CSS. First, let's add the CSS boilerplate code. We'll start by setting the margin and padding to zero for all elements. Then, we'll apply box sizing, border box to ensure that padding and borders are included in the element's total width and height. Next, let's style the HTML and body elements. Set their width 100% and height to 100%, ensuring they take up the full viewport. For the background, we'll use a dark shade with the color hash 180909 to give the page a sleek look. Now, if you open the browser, you'll notice the dark background applied to the entire page and all the images are displayed one after another. Now, let's add some style to the container div element. Set its width 100% and height to 100vh. We'll use display, flex to align its child elements in a flexible layout. Then, center the items using justify content, center and align items, center. To give the items some space between them, we'll set a gap of 1 rem. Now, if you open the browser, you'll see all the images aligned side by side, with a 1 rem gap between them. Next, let's add some style to the item div element. Set its width to 10 rem and its height to 20 rem. This will ensure that each item has a defined size, creating uniformity among all the images. After that, let's style the images. Set their width and height to 100% to make them fill the entire item div. We'll also use object fit, cover to ensure that the images maintain their aspect ratio while covering the entire area without distortion. Next, let's add some additional styles to the item div. Set the cursor to pointer to indicate that the items are interactive. We'll also add a transition of 0.5 second for a smooth effect on hover. Lastly, apply a filter with brightness, 0, to dim the images initially. Now, if you open the browser, you'll notice that all the images appear black. This is due to the filter we applied, which sets their brightness to 0. Next, let's add a hover effect to the item div. Set the filter to brightness 1 so that when a user hovers over an image, it will return to its original brightness, creating an engaging visual effect. Now, let's enhance the container div by adding some 3D effects. Set the transform style to preserve 3D and apply transform perspective 1000px. This will give the container a three-dimensional appearance, allowing for more dynamic interactions with the images. Now, let's move on to the hover style. Add transform, translate Z, 200px, to the item div. This will create a 3D effect, making the images appear to pop out towards the viewer when hovered over, enhancing the interactive experience. Next, let's style the hover effect for the next item div element. We'll use the selector.item, hover plus asterisk, where plus asterisk represents the following sibling element. This allows us to apply styles to the next item in line when the current item is hovered over. Now, within the hover effect, add filter, brightness 0.6 to increase brightness to the next item slightly. Then, apply transform, translate Z, 150px, to give it a 3D effect, and rotate Y, 40 degrees, to tilt it to the side. This combination creates a dynamic interaction, making the next image appear visually distinct when the current item is hovered over. Next, copy the hover style we just created and paste it. Now, add one more plus asterisk to the selector to target the second next item div. Change the filter to brightness, 0.4, and update the transform to translate Z, 70px, and rotate Y, 20 degrees, for a subtler 3D effect. This will create a cascading interaction, 
making each subsequent image respond differently when hovering over an item. Now we got a problem. First let's see the problem, we need to style the previous element in relation to the current one. However, CSS doesn't provide a direct selector like plus asterisk to select the previous element. Instead, we can use the hover pseudo class along with a custom selector like hash plus asterisk hover. This allows us to apply styles to the previous element when the current item is hovered over. Now, let's add the hover style for the previous element. Use the selector.container.item hash plus asterisk hover. In this style, set filter brightness 0.6 to dim the previous item slightly. Then, apply transform, translate Z, 150px, and rotate Y, minus 40 degrees, to tilt it in the opposite direction. This creates a cohesive interactive experience, allowing the previous image to respond when the current item is hovered over. Next, copy the previous hover style you just created. Now, add an extra plus asterisk to the selector to target the second previous item div. Change the filter to brightness, 0.4, to increase the brightness of this item and update the transform to translate Z 70 px and rotate Y minus 20 degrees. This will enhance the cascading effect, allowing each previous image to react differently when hovering over the current item. This will create an amazing, eye-catching 3D effect for the images. As you hover over each item, both the next and previous images will dynamically respond, creating a visually engaging and interactive experience. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.